Good morning. Uh, today is Friday, December 4th. Today is Vlogmas Day 3. I apologize there wasn't a video yesterday. I um, had a little mini meltdown in my sewing room when <laughs> the dress that I made for my baby shower tomorrow turned out absolutely exactly how it was supposed to, but it didn't match the image that I had in my mind when I put it on. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, and that just kind of set me off. Uh, it feels weird to even complain about anything because I know that's not a real problem and there's people that have real problems in the world. But uh, it seems like maybe I am struggling with my body image now uh, that my bump is getting bigger and I just feel very large in general. And um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't mean to complain and I know that I hear all the time, well, this is what you wanted and this is just pregnancy and pregnancy kind of sucks sometimes and I totally understand that. And I feel like I need to disclaim everything by saying I am so grateful that we have this opportunity and I'm so grateful that my body is healthy and carrying this baby, but um, I am struggling with the way that I look right now. Uh, so. I'm trying to have a better day today. I am, obviously I'm in the car. I'm headed to town to run some errands. Uh, we live in a pretty rural town. So if I need to go anywhere like Target or like today I'm going to Target Joann's and I need to return something um, that Thomas got on Amazon that just didn't work out. So I'm headed to uh, Athens to do that. And uh, hopefully I will be in a better mood when I get home and I'll put that dress back on and everything will be fine. Uh, but yeah, that's just me being candid that it's not always fantastic. So I will, uh, we're doing those things. I'm going to Athens to do those things. And then this afternoon I have my 30 week OB appointment, which was supposed to be earlier in the week and got bumped to today. So I'll take you there as well. Let's get going. Joanne's is without a doubt one of my favorite places in the world. Um, there's so much choice in mine. I have we have a pretty new Joanne's in Athens, so I come here to get inspiration. They can be kind of pricey on fabric, but like right now, all of the knit solids are on sale for 40% off. So I'm probably gonna get some black to make my maternity photo shoot dress since I didn't like the one that I made yesterday. So. Every time I'm in here, I come and just gaze longingly at all of these machines. Um, I have an entry-level brother uh, standard machine uh, that was nowhere near any of these prices, but I always look at this Husqvarna Jade, but I just can't, by no means can I justify this price tag, so. But I come and look, and sometimes they'll have one set up that I can play with. One day. One day will upgrade. For right now, I've actually been looking at these Singer Heavy Duties. This one and this one. My, my mommy was a heavily believed in Singer machines rather than the Brother machines that I used. And my brother, I have a CS6000i. It's just not love. It struggles with more than a couple layers. So I've really been thinking about selling it and getting one of these guys. So maybe that might be my next purchase. Okay. I spent a little more time than I anticipated in Joann's. Uh, so I don't have time for Target, unfortunately. Totally my fault. Uh, but I ended up getting some black rib knit fabric to do a different dress with that'll hopefully highlight the bump a little bit more. Um, it doesn't have to be skin tight, but I feel like the dress I made for tomorrow just doesn't even really skim my belly. It just kind of hangs. Uh, so I'm going to add a little sash to it out of the same material to kind of tuck it in up under here and hopefully make it like cascade a little bit better and um, then make this more bodycon style black dress for 
my pictures on Sunday. So I got that rib knit and I got um, serger thread. I needed black serger thread and they had it on sale. So I went ahead and got seven spools since um, my serger takes four spools at a time and my cover stitch takes three spools at a time. So it's most of my um, serger threads, I only have four of one color uh, with the exception of white. So it gets really annoying when I'm in the middle of a project and uh, like these cardigans, for example, they have to be hemmed before I can put this neckband on. So then if you don't have enough spools for both machines, you have to unthread the serger, thread the cover stitch, then unthread the cover stitch and thread the serger again. So first world problems, but it helps when you can have seven of one color. So I went ahead and got seven of the colors since they were, um, they were buy three, get two free. So that helped. And, uh, now we're headed to the hospital for my doctor's appointment. <sighs> Just got out of my appointment. Sorry I didn't record any while I was in there. Um, I don't know if I said, I got a camera last weekend. So um, now I'm shooting all my videos on the Canon G7X Mark II. And it's a lot different whipping out an actual camera in public rather than just whipping up my phone to record. So that was the longest appointment I've had yet. We had a lot to talk about. So I guess this is as good a time as any to do like a 30 week update. Um, Bradley has been expected to be big uh, the whole time. Thomas was just shy of 12 pounds at birth. I was over nine pounds at birth and all of Thomas's siblings were very large babies. Um, I only have one brother, but he was almost nine pounds two weeks early. So we've been expected to have a large baby the whole time. My mom had two C-sections. Um, actually Thomas and all of his siblings, including younger twin sisters were born vaginally. So, um, we're just kind of trying to keep an idea of what he's looking like. Um, the midwife I saw today said that although I am measuring spot on, I'll be 31 weeks tomorrow and my fundal height was 31 centimeters, which is textbook. Um, they decided that they were trying to decide between a growth ultrasound at my 34 week appointment or my 36 week appointment. They decided to do it at 36 weeks just to get an idea of what we're looking like we're weighing. He was already right at a pound at our anatomy scan at 20 weeks. So that'll just determine what we're looking at. I think it looks like we have officially decided that we will have a 39 week induction from what I was told today to save about half a pound so and that's fine with me um, I'm starting to get really anxious about delivery um, I mean that's not to say that I'm like have a fear a phobia or anything I'm just anxious um, I keep telling myself that I can be anxious all I want but he has to come out whether it's um, vaginally or c-section he has to come out he can't stay in there forever and you don't get a baby without a little bit of pain so it will i understand that it will be fine um that's just generalized anxiety disorder for you and that's how it goes sometimes so yeah so that was that appointment um my next appointment is on the 14th for my 32 week appointment um so it officially looks like we've got eight weeks or less until we meet Bradley, which is really soon. Um, I'm, I'm very excited about that. Uh, I've had an easy pregnancy up until a couple weeks ago. It's obviously he's getting bigger. It's getting harder to move. I cannot sleep for crap. I'm up and down all night long going to the bathroom and acid reflux has gotten really, 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 really uncomfortable. Um, I just, I feel like I gag constantly. Um, 
especially if I eat too late in the evening before I go to bed, I'll wake up with like acid vomit in my mouth, which is gross. Um, but it's really uncomfortable and that is my reality. So we, I'm just very, I think, <laughs> I think it must be this way on purpose, designed this way on purpose so that once you're 30 plus weeks pregnant, you're just so uncomfortable that you forget about how much it's going to suck to get him out because that's better than the alternative of him staying in. So, um, that's where we're at and that was like I said, that's the longest I've been in an appointment ever. Um, but I got a lot of really good information and a lot of planning uh, to do. So, I'm very excited. Eight more weeks. Yay. Let's go home. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's go home. Jovi. Hey, baby. What are you doing? We're just chilling. Okay. Fine. Oh, I see your tail. So I'm home, clearly. I had kind of an eventful car ride home. Um, we had a COVID outbreak in our neighborhood um, this week. So um, we decided to postpone my baby shower that was going to be tomorrow which is totally fine. Gives my bump a little more time to fill out that dress that I was so upset about last night. Um, and it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So um, I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog here, um, snuggling with my puppies and waiting on Thomas to get home. He should be home any minute. And we're gonna go have dinner with his sister and meet her new boyfriend. So, um, I will see you all later tomorrow. Have a good night.